Hello everyone, magandang buhay. Welcome back to Doc A Love TV's channel and we are on the third episode of our journey in Patfit 02. With that, let me share my screen. As I have said, PathFit2 is focused on home-based fitness activities. And today, our session will focus on lesson three. But before I present my discussion and my presentation, let me ask you some questions. Have you been injured while performing physical activity? What are the possible measures that you know to avoid physical injury? You may pause for a while watching this video and try to write your answer in the comment section below. You may now start answering these questions. Okay, after that you have answered the question, let me go on with the discussion and presentation of lesson three, which is all about physical injuries or the common physical injuries and prevention. So participating in one or more physical activity like sports is a vital part of a healthy, active lifestyle, good for the heart, good for the respiration, good for building and maintaining muscular strength, and in a perfect world, only good would come of playing sports. But of course, this is not a perfect world. People move in the wrong ways. People trip and fall. People make sudden contact with the ground and with each other. And sports injuries commonly occur as a result. That said, the risk injury should obviously not deter your, you from playing sports, but by being aware of some of the most common sports injuries, you can take steps to prevent them of, or at least reduce the risk of getting hurt. Let's look at eight common possible athletic-related injuries and possible preventions of, or possible prevention measures you can take. So the first one, common physical injuries and prevention is ankle sprain. Okay, this is uh, uh, what you can see in the illustration. So what it is, most athletes have experienced a sprained ankle, which typically occurs when the foot turns inward and this turning stretches or tears the ligaments on the outside of the ankle which are relatively weak. So strains are by far the most common of all sports related injuries, simply because we use so many muscles and tendons when we exercise or play. These moving parts are all susceptible to stretching farther than they should or moving in ways they shouldn't move, leaving them turn, damage and in pain. Common muscle strains include pulled hamstring, pulled groin muscles, and strains and strain quads. Most strains are minor and heal naturally with rest. The best way to reduce the risk of strained muscle and tendons is to warm up and stretch before engaging in strenuous activity. So what you can do with an ankle sprain, it's important to exercise to prevent loss of flexibility and strength and re-injury. You can ask your doctor or physical therapist to help you know what kinds of exercise you should do. When to see a doctor when you have ankle sprain? 
it's important to note where the sprain has occurred. A high ankle sprain is, is lower to heal and should probably be seen by a doctor to make sure the bones in the lower leg did not separate, says R. Marvin Royster. Uh, MD Royster is assistant team physician for the Atlanta Braves and an orthopedic surgeon with the Peach Tree Orthopedic Clinic in Atlanta. One way to recognize a high ankle sprain is that this sprain usually causes tenderness above the ankle. So sprains are uh, to ligaments, what, what strains are to muscles? Ligaments are the tissues that connect bone to bone. So when these ligaments turn in a wrong way, they can pull or tear. So ankle sprains are perhaps the most frequent type of sprain among athletes, followed closely by knee sprains, wrist and elbow sprains, and etc. Sprains can be, pain, can be painful, take longer to heal than strains, and sometimes require immobilization to practice against further injury. Pre-workout, stretches, and warm-ups can help deter sprains, as well as practicing good technique in the sports you're playing. Sprains often leave the ligament weak and susceptible to future sprain. So if you have history of spraining a knee or ankle, for example, it would be a good idea to support that joint with, uh, with a brace while playing. So the next is uh, a groin pull. So what it is, it is pushing off in a side-to-side -side motion causes a strain of the inner thigh muscles or groin or groin. Hockey, hockey uh, soccer, football, and baseball are common sports with groin injuries, says Royster. What you can do? Uh, compression, ice, and rest will heal most groin injuries. Returning to full activity too quickly can aggregate to a groin pull or turn it into a long-term problem. So uh, when to see a doctor if you have this kind of injury? So any groin pull that has significant swelling should be seen early by a physician, Royster says. The next is hamstring strain, what it is. Three muscles in the back of the thigh from, uh, form the, harms, the hamstring. The hamstring can, can be overstretched by movements such as hurdling, kicking, uh, kicking the leg out sharply when running. Falling forward while water skiing, is another common cause of hamstring strain. And what you can do if you have this kind of injury. Hamstring injuries are slow to heal because of the constant stress applied to the injured tissue from walking, says Royster. Complete healing can take six to 12 months so it's quite long. Re-injuries are common because it's hard for many guys to stay inactive for that long. So that's very true. Uh, what about shin splints? Sh uh, shin splints, pains down the front of the lower legs are commonly called shin splints. They are most often brought on by running, especially when starting a more strenuous training program like long runs or paved road, roads. So what you can do if you have this kind of injury? Rest, ice and over-the-counter pain medicine are the mainstay of treatment. When to see a doctor if you have shin splints? 
the pain of shin splints is rarely an actual stress fracture. A small break in the shin bone, but you should see your doctor if the pain persists, even with the rest. And stress fractures require prolonged rest, commonly a month or more, to be healed. The next uh, uh, common physical injury is knee injury or the ACLT. What it is, uh, ACL stands for the anterior cruciate ligament. It holds the leg bone to the knee uh, and a sudden cuts or stops or getting hit from the side can strain or tear the ACL. A complete tear can make the dreaded pop sounds oh it's it's painful so when to see a doctor if you have this kind of injury always you have to see a doctor always if you suspect an acl injury acl acl Tears are potentially the most severe of the common sports injuries. A completely torn ACL will usually require surgery in individuals who wish to remain physically active, says Royster. So the knee is uh, a very complicated joint and it endures a lot of impact and wear during most sports activities. And for this reason, we've given it its own category for possible injuries. So tears of the anterior crochet ligament or ACL are quite common as are cartilage uh, tears, dislocation and fractures. Knee injuries can be painful and debilitating, sometimes uh, requiring surgery to correct, uh, to correct. Again, warm ups, stretches, and good posture can reduce uh, the risk of knee injuries along with proper padding and bracing. For instance, while playing contact sports. So another injury is knee injury, uh, patellofemoral syndrome. Uh, patellofemoral syndrome can result from uh, the repetitive, uh, repetitive movement of your kneecap or the patellia against your thigh bone or femur, which can damage the tissue under the kneecap. Running, volleyball, and basketball commonly set it off. One knee or both can be affected. What you can do if you have this kind of injury? Patience is a key. Patellofemoral pain can take up to six weeks to clear up. It's important to continue low impact exercise during this time. Working out the quadriceps can also relieve pain. So, Another common physical injury is uh, the tennis elbow or the epicondylitis. Repetitive use of the elbow, for example, during golf or tennis swing can irritate or make tiny tears in the elbow tendons. Epicondylitis is most common in 30 to 60 years old and usually involves the outside of the elbow. What you can do if you have uh, this kind of in, uh, injury? Uh, it can usually be cleared up by staying off the tennis court or golf course until the pain improves. So uh, those are just some of the common injuries in uh, if you are engaged in uh, 
uh, physical activities like sports and other physical activities. So the price, the PRICE principles for treating common sport injuries. So first, it's important to know that swelling is normal response to these injuries. Excessive swelling, though can reduce range of motion and interfere with healing, you can limit swelling and start healing faster after common sports injuries by using the price principle. So uh, price stands for P, this is to, it stands for protect from further injury. For more severe injuries, protect the injured area with a splint pad or crutch. So that's the first letter in the word price. So just uh, take note of this word. The next is letter R, restrict activity. So it stands for restrict activity. And restricting activity will uh, prevent worsening of the injury. Next to, to letter R is letter I. I stands for apply ice. Apply ice immediately after a common sports injury. Ice is the miracle drug for sports injuries, says uh, Putukian. It's an anti-inflammatory without many side effects. Use ice for 20 minutes every one to two hours for the first 48, after, uh, 48 hours after the injury, do, after that injury. Don't use heat during this time. It, encourage, uh, it encourages uh, swelling and inflammation. Ayan. Yung iba kasi nagahat compress. So it's wrong. So you have to use ice to avoid swelling of the injured area. Next to uh, uh, I is letter C. C stands for compression or applying. Compression with an elastic bandage will help reduce swelling. So take note of that. After letter C is the last letter in the word price, which is, uh, which stands uh, to elevate the injured area. Elevating the injured area above the heart will also reduce swelling, okay? So uh, that is all about the common you know, physical injuries and uh, what to do, you know, what to do. So with this, uh, let me hear or uh, please write one sentence that you have learned from this discussion uh, to wrap it up. To wrap, wrap it up, write one sentence in the comment section that you have learned for today or for this session. Okay, you may start. Okay, almost done. You are now going to answer the activity of lesson three in order to finish the module one. And the learning task or the activity will be posted in our Google Classroom. Take note or think of this. Do it the safe way, do it the right way, and do it every day. Thank you so much. So I hope that you have learned you learned something from our uh, uh, discussion for the uh, the common injuries uh, in engaging in physical activities. Goodbye, everyone, and see you again uh, for the next episode of uh, uh, our journey in Pathfit Zero Two.